GLP-1 receptor agonists are a powerful tool in the fight against obesity. These pharmaceuticals are known for their weight loss and their blood sugar benefits. By reducing body weight, GLP-1 drugs like Ozempic and Wagovi may open the door to a more active lifestyle, especially with appropriate support. Healthy habit support during and extending beyond the duration of medication can improve long-term outcomes and it can help patients reduce their dosages and then sustain those positive results in the end. Success can be maximized when GLP-1s such as semaglutide are combined with behavior support. First, let's identify the major GLP-1s. There are many medications approved for treating obesity and type 2 diabetes. Semaglutide appears to be the most potent type of GLP-1 for weight loss. Now, you've likely seen their ads with brand names for semaglutide, including Ozempic and Wagovi. And you know, Mondrao is another popular anti-obesity and type 2 diabetes drug that also activates the GLP-1 receptors, but through a related molecule, not semaglutide, but instead terzepatide. Other GLP-1 drugs include Victoza or Saxenda and Trulicity as well. And how they work for weight loss is by mimicking the effects of a natural hormone that stimulates insulin release, curbs your appetite, and promotes a sense of fullness. They also slow digestion, leading to a significant weight loss for most people because they end up eating way fewer calories. These medications have proven effective with minimal safety issues. For instance, in the step one trial for semaglutide, patients lost an average of 15% of their body weight after a year of treatment. Healthy lifestyle changes were suggested to both the semaglutide group and the placebo group in that study, but by comparison, the placebo group lost just 2.4% of their body weight. That said, side effects are possible, and studies are reporting that about 7% of patients on semaglutide drop out due to issues like vomiting, nausea, and diarrhea. More serious gastrointestinal events were rare in that study, but they did occur in about 1.4% of participants. Now, in the real world, rare adverse effects have also been reported, and that includes things like pancreatitis, bowel obstruction, and stomach paralysis. When patients undergo surgeries, they also must halt any GLP-1 medications to ensure that their stomachs are completely empty before a surgical procedure. Because even after fasting for 18 hours, semaglutide users have substantial amounts of food still in the stomach that can be vomited and then aspirated into the lungs during surgery. Some studies suggest the medication should be withheld for weeks before surgical procedures, and the American Society of Anesthesiologists suggests withholding these drugs for just a week prior in that one step one trial I mentioned. Now, the percentage of those who lost 5% of more of their weight in these studies was an impressive 86% of those on the semaglutide meds compared to just 32% of those in the placebo group. Research studies refer to 5% weight reductions because this represents an important clinical benchmark associated with better metabolic health. This suggests that the GLP-1 drugs can more than double the number of individuals who are gonna see significant clinically relevant weight loss success. To complement the benefits of GLP-1s for weight loss, healthy habit support is really important. Current medication addresses the physiological aspects of appetite control, but behavior change focuses on the psychological and the lifestyle aspects. By understanding our actions and developing stress management techniques, individuals can gradually improve their eating choices and their physical activity habits through enhanced behavior support. And that's why medication and behavior support are synergistic partners. They work together to enhance and prolong the positive effects of weight loss interventions. By addressing the behavioral aspects, healthy guidance can amplify that overall effectiveness of whatever weight loss medication a person is taking. Research suggests that more than double the amount of body weight is lost when we combine behavioral training with semi-glutide medications. Finally, let's talk about sustainability. It's no secret that the appetite suppression stops when the drugs are halted. And research shows that most of that weight is regained promptly after that drug is discontinued. By helping individuals form and sustain positive lifestyle habits, behavioral tools offer a pathway to the gradual reduction in pharmaceutical reliance. This sustainable approach aligns with the long-term goals of most patients who are looking for not only the immediate results, but also the lasting health improvements. 
in the journey towards effective weight management, medication and behavior support together deliver the most weight loss and overall the greatest health advantages. TRIO's habit support platform can maximize the benefits of weight loss medications, but it also empowers individuals to take control of their health, fostering a sustainable success for the long term. Are you interested in learning more? Schedule a demo or reach out at info at triowellness.com.